today, peace and blessings. Thank you so much for joining me on our Yoga School Virtue Studio. We are going to get our practice started here today. It's time to practice some self-care, relaxing and soothing here today. As we find our bodies in a comfortable seated pose, any easy seat that feels good for you, may you find your position. I am sitting in a half lotus. As we are using our easy seat to help relax and wind down the mind and body. Ensuring that the tummy is tucked at the navel. Spinal cord is nice and elongated, meaning we are not sunken. Having control of that body with the shoulders relaxed downward away from the ears. Gaze in the eyes downward or close in the eyes. As we take a nice deep intentional breath in. Exhale. Taking a moment to notice how the breath feels in the body. As we breathe our palms at heart center, coming into a seated prayer. Maybe our thumbs are touching our sternum, the center of our chest. As we relax, silent meditation for natural breaths. Two breaths. Blowing our hands above our heads in our salute. Fingertips reaches up towards the heavens. Palms are together. Interlacing our fingers with our pointed finger pointing up towards the heavens. Heart chakras open, chin is up. Allowing our arms to slightly flow towards the back of the room. Feeling this slight back bend here. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale back to center, separating the palms, coming into that seated extended mountain. Palms are separated. As we twist the body towards the right, palms come down towards the earth as we gaze over our right shoulder. We can place our left hand on our right knee to go deeper in that twist if we choose, gazing the eyes down, allowing the spinal cord to relax and decompress. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale back to center, coming into a seated star. In our star, our palms are slightly out towards the side, twisting the body towards the left. Palms come downward towards the earth as we gaze over our left shoulder. Connecting that right hand to that left knee, going deeper in that twist if that feels good as we decompress the spine. Four breaths. Two breaths. Exhale back to center, coming into that star. As we breathe to that extended mountain, breathing our palms above our head, but they are not together. Leaning our body towards the right. We are in a seated side bend. Feeling this stretch here in the side body. Slightly gazing up at the heavens if that feels good. Three breaths. Two breaths. Holding this pose, we're going to allow our right hand to come downward towards the earth, coming deeper in that side bend here. Noticing how this feels in a side body. Three more breaths. Two breaths. And exhaling back to center, coming into that seated salute. Palms are above our heads. They are not together. As we lean our bodies towards the left, seated side bend, opposite side. Tummies are tucked at our navel. Gazing up at the heavens if that feels good. Opening up that heart chakra. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Holding this position, allowing that left hand to come downward towards the earth as the body leans deeper into that side bend. Feeling this stretch here in that side body. You're going to hold this three breaths. 
Two breaths. Exhale and back to center, coming into that seated salute. And now we salute our palms are together. Exhale and down to prayer, relaxing those palms at heart center. Shoulders relaxes downward away from the ears. When we relax our shoulders down, it allows us to relax and soothe the upper parts of our bodies, relieving any tension we may feel in our neck or shoulders. As we continue to gaze the eyes downward or close the eyes, taking a nice deep breath in. Exhale through the mouth. As we relax our palms on the sides of our bodies, our palms are connected to our yoga mat. For we are tapping into our environment. Taking a moment to notice what is going on around us right here, right now, in our present moment, without judgment. And during our session here today, we may hear noises and sounds. We may become distracted. However, may we only allow in what is comforting and soothing for us in our practice here today. Three more breaths. As we flow our feet into a bound position, coming into a diamond or a butterfly, this here is a hip opener. In our diamond, our feet are further away from our bodies. In our butterfly, our feet are closer towards our bodies. The butterfly is a deeper hip opener. So doing what feels best for you, connecting the hands to the feet or the ankles. Backs are nice and elongated. Heart chakras open, chin is up. Allowing that chin to flow towards the back between your shoulder blades, coming into a seated pow. Tucking that tummy in at your navel, three breaths. Two breaths. Flow into our cat, bringing our chin to our clavicle. Tummies are tucked, spinal cord flows to the back of the room, filling that arch in the back. We are in that cat pose. Three breaths. Two breaths. Flowing back to cow. Exhale to cat. Coming to our center. We're going to slightly hinge at the hips, allowing our shoulders to melt downward towards the feet, allowing our head to relax downward towards our feet. We are Hinging at the hips, noticing that you'll feel this a little more here in your inner thighs. Working on relaxing and soothing and opening up those hip flexors here. Only allowing the body to go down, to go down as much as your body constantly allows you to go down. Gaze in the eyes down for four breaths. Two breaths. Exhale enough to a bound position, straightening that back, allowing the head to relax between the shoulder blades. Cow, three breaths. Tucking the tummy in at the navel, two more breaths. Low into our cat. Coming back to our neutral position, we're going to use our hands to bring our feet in, coming into a staff pose, straightening our legs side by side. Our toes are pointing up towards the heavens. Spinal cords nice and elongated. Heart chakras open, chin is up, relaxing our palms on our laps. We are here in our staff pose, gazing forward, taking a moment to check in with self, noticing how we feel right here right now in our present moment as we are going inward. Three more breaths. Two breaths. As we slightly hinge at the hips, coming into that half forward fold. We are in that half seated forward fold. You'll feel this stretch here behind your legs and your hamstrings. 
This is the full body stretch. To go deeper in this stretch, if we choose, we can allow our hands to connect to our ankles or the bottoms of our feet. As the shoulders melt forward and the head melts downward towards the feet. I'm sorry, as the head melts downward towards your knees. Fill in this nice deep stretch within the body, allowing the eyes to gaze down the clothes. Fill in those shoulder blades melt forward as our body relaxes and soothes for four breaths. When he knows toes downward towards the earth, coming into that plantar flex, feeling that nice deep stretch, two more breaths. Exhaling up to half as we come up to our staff pose, straightening that back, heart chakras open, chin is up. Flowing our hands above our heads in the salutes, feeling that stretch, fingertips flows up towards the heavens, shoulders flows up towards the ears, allowing that spine to get nice and elongated. As we interlace our fingers with that pointer finger pointing up towards the heavens, that chin is up, arms flow slightly towards the back, three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale into center, breathing those palms down their heart center, coming into prayer. Relaxing the shoulders down away from the ears. Gazing the eyes down as we breathe in through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. We're going to work on a Sage Marie G3 here, taking that right foot. Right foot's flat on the earth, right knee is up in the air. We're going to cross this right foot over this left leg. Taking this right hand behind our backs with our fingertips facing away from us. Feeling that spinal twist. We can go deeper in this twist if we choose. Taking this left elbow and crossing it over that right knee as we gaze over that right shoulder. You may feel your spinal cord cracking. You may feel it twisting and decompressing. As we feel our bodies relax, going nice and deep in a stretch, taking nice, subtle breaths with our eyes gazed down. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center, uncrossing that right leg, coming into that staff pose, hinging at the hips, coming to that half forward fold, going down to a complete forward fold if you're able. Shoulders melt forward, head comes down towards the knees. Two breaths. Exhaling to half, coming back up to that staff pose. Taking that left leg, breathing that left foot on the earth, left knee is up in the air. We're going to cross this left foot over that right leg. Taking this left hand behind our backs, fingertips, faces away from us. Sorry. We're going to take this right elbow, bringing this right elbow over that left knee as we gaze over our left shoulder. Feeling that nice deep spinal twist opposite side, allowing the eyes to gaze down and close. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center, uncrossing that leg, coming back into that staff pose, breathing the palms above the head and that salute, palms together, chin is up. Exhale the prayer, palms come heart center. Relaxing those shoulders downward away from the ears. As we bring our knees inward, crossing our feet at our ankles, we're going to come into a tabletop pose. Coming on to our hands and our knees. Palms are flat on the earth. 
We're going to drop down to cow, allowing our tummies to come downward towards the earth, filling that arch in the back. Chin is up. This pose is great for lower back pain. We're going to hang out here for three breaths. Two breaths. As we flow to our cat, bringing our chin to our clavicle, spinal cord flows up towards the heavens, tucking that tummy here at the navel. Three breaths. Two breaths. Flowing back to cow. Exhale, cat. Come into our table as we breathe our right leg towards the back, coming into that sunbird. But we're going to lift that right leg up nice and high. We're going to pulse that leg up in the air. We are working at gluteus maximus. Both of our palms are flat on the earth as we are gaze forward. Tummies are tucked or tight at our navel. Four breaths. Two breaths. We're going to find that pause, extending that left arm forward. So we have the right leg towards the back, left arms forward. We are in that full sunbird. We are balancing and strengthening here. At any time, if we need to lower our right toes downward towards the earth, feel free to do so. We are still in a sunbird. So doing what feels best for you. Either right toes are lowered down towards the earth or the right foot is up in the back. We're going to hold this for breaths. Two breaths. Taking a nice deep breath in. Exhale and knee to elbow, bringing that knee to that elbow, feeling that crunch. Back to bird. Knee to elbow. Back to bird. Knee to elbow. Flowing back to bird. Two breaths. Exhale back to table. We're going to drop down the cow. Chin is up. Flow into our cat. Coming back to table as we extend that left leg towards the back, feeling that stretch. We're going to pulse that left leg up in the air nice and high, feeling that gluteus maximus crunch. We're lifting and rounding that buttocks here as we pulse. That left leg up, feeling that burn, four breaths. Tummies are tight, gaze forward. Two more breaths. We're going to find our pause at center, extending that right arm forward, full sunbird. We have the left leg to the back, right arms forward. We are continuing to balance and strengthen here. Gaze is forward, tummies tight, four breaths. Two breaths. Taking a nice deep breath in. Exhale, knee to elbow, feeling that crunch. Back to bird. Knee to elbow, crunching it in. Back to bird. Knee to elbow. Back to bird. Two breaths. Flowing back to our table. Dropping down to cow. Chin is up. Exhale to cat. Low into our table. As we press our bodies up to our down dog, gazing at our feet. Pushing our torso towards our thighs, feeling that nice deep stretch. As we walk our dog by pedaling our feet left and right, we're going to find pause, shifting that weight forward, coming into that high plank, dropping down to a low plank or a chaturanga, hovering over the yoga mat. 
Exhale onto our tummies, coming into a Sphinx pose. We are on our tummies. We are on our forearms. This is a slight back bend. Shoulders are relaxed away from the ears, meaning we are not shrugged at our shoulders. Lifting that body away from the ears, have a control of that back. Chin is up. Gaze in the eyes down. Taking a nice deep breath in. Exhale. This Sphinx pose relaxes and soothes the lower back. It also works the shoulders and the neck. And we're gonna gaze down or close our eyes. Taking a moment to go inwards. Relaxing, silent meditation. Five natural breaths. Three more breaths. Exhale into a cobra, bringing our palms next to our chest. Pushing our torso away from the earth. We're in a baby cobra because our elbows are bent. This is a slight back bend. Coming into a cobra, we straighten our elbows. Shoulders relaxed away from the ears. This is a little deeper. Back then, we are in that cobra. So baby cobra, elbows are bent, bodies closer to the earth. Cobra elbows are straighter, torsos further away from the earth. With that chin up. Exhale into up dog, untucking those toes, lifting those thighs off the earth. We are in that up dog. Chin is up, heart chakra is open. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale, down dog, gazing at the feet. Walking our dog by pedaling our feet left and right. As we walk our feet towards our hands, coming into that complete forward fold, Allowing the head to melt downward towards the knees. Taking a nice deep breath in. Exhale. This complete forward fold is a full body stretch. Gaze in the eyes down or closing the eyes. Four more breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale up to half, forward fold, slightly gaze forward, backs or slightly straight. Three breaths. Tummies are tight, tucked at the navel. Two more breaths. As we yogi walk our feet slightly apart, creating that nice stance, coming nice and wide if that feels good. We're gonna flow back down to a wide-legged forward fold, allowing that head to relax down. Optioning to flow into a rag doll if you choose, connecting the hands to the elbows. Feeling this nice deep stretch throughout your body. Optioning to rock or sway your body from side to side, if that feels good. Mm. Noticing that when you rock or sway, you'll feel it more behind your legs and your hamstrings. So we are stretching and loosening up the hamstring. As we continue to sway with the eyes, gaze down the clothes. Four more breaths. Two breaths. 
Finding pause, coming up to half, forward fold, gaze forward. Coming into that nice wide legged if we're not already there. Nice wide legged forward fold. Feeling that stretch. Taking a nice breath in. Exhale. As we take our left hand, connect our left hand to our right knee. I'm sorry, taking our left hand, connect it to our right ankle. Feeling that stretch. We're going to take this right hand and wrap it behind our backs like we do in our thread the needle as we gaze over our right shoulder. Feeling this cross body stretch here. We're going to relax and soothe. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center, coming into that calf forward fold. As we switch sides, taking this right hand to that left ankle. Wrapping this left arm around our back, how we do when I thread the needle. As we gaze over our left shoulder. Feeling that cross body stretch opposite side. Take a nice subtle breath. Four breaths here. Two breaths. Exhale back to center, coming into a complete forward fold. Allowing that head to melt down. Blowing into a rag doll if that feels good for you. Three more breaths. Exhaling, half forward fold. Coming up to our wide legged Tadasana. Our palms are at our sides. <sighs> Backs are nice and elongated. Heart chakras open, chin is up. Taking a nice breath in. Exhale through the mouth. Building those shoulders, relax downward towards the floor. As our eyes are gazed down and closed. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Lowering our hands up to our salute. Palms are above our head. Chin is up. Feeling that stretch. Interlacing our fingers with the pointer finger pointing up towards the heavens. Allowing the arms to slightly flow towards the back of the room. Feeling this slight back bend. Three breaths. Exhaling back to center. Separating the palms. Feeling that stretch. Coming into our cactus hands. Bringing the elbows down to the sides of the body. Cactus hands. Pointing our toes to the outer parts of our yoga mat. We're going to come on down to that goddess, God stance. We are now working the lower parts of our bodies. We are firming and toning our quads, our gluteus maximus, our calves. Here in our goddess, we're going to pulse that body up and down. Notice in the different body parts we work where we are pulsing the leg muscles. We're going to find pause. And we're going to rock that body from side to side. We are burning and we are firming our leg muscles. Two more breaths. We're going to find that pause. Exhaling up to a standing star. Straightening the legs, straightening the arms out towards the side. Heart chakras open, chin is up. With the eyes closed or slightly gazed down. Taking a nice deep breath in. Exhale. Here in our standing star, may we feel strong and shining brightly. May we feel powerful. 
and sincere with ourselves. With our feet planted to the earth, may we always be grounded, may we always be rooted. No matter how far we go in life, how much we advance, may we always be humble and true to ourselves. Keeping that chin up, heart chakras open, feeling bright, feeling strong. Three more breaths. Feeling a burn within our arms. Two more breaths. Exhaling back down to our goddess, God stance, working in all parts of our bodies. As we breathe our palms above our heads and our goddess salute, palms are above the head, chin is up. Exhale down the prayer, breathing those palms at heart center. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale, complete forward fold, wide legged, connecting the hands to the ankles. Feeling that stretch, head melts down. Taking a nice deep breath in. Exhale. We're going to hang out here, fill in a stretch, four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale, walking those hands forward, bringing our feet to the back, down dog. Tummy's tight, gazing at the feet. Exhaling the three-legged dog. Breathing that right foot in the air nice and high. Gazing back at that foot. Two more breaths. Exhale, breathing that left. Exhale, breathing that right knee to that right elbow. Feeling that crunch. Back to three-legged. Knee to elbow, back to three-legged, knee to elbow, feeling that crunch, back to three-legged, exhaling down dog, as we walk out with dog, back pedal on our feet, finding pause, we're going to breathe that left leg. Up in the air, three-legged, opposite side, gazing at that foot. Two more breaths. Exhale, left knee to left elbow, feeling that crunch. Back to three-legged. Knee to elbow. Back to three-legged. Knee to elbow, feeling a crunch, working the arms. Back to three-legged. Exhale, down dog. As we drop down to our dolphin, coming onto our forearms, buttocks is high in the air, gazing at the back of the room. Walking our feet slightly closer towards our bodies. Noticing the buttocks comes higher in the air. This dolphin pose prepares the body for headstand. Four breaths. Optioning to pause up and down on your tippy toes if that feels good for you. Two more breaths. Dropping down to the knees, coming into a wide-legged child's pose or puppy pose. Whatever feels good for you, allowing your heart chakra to come closer towards the earth. Your third eye chakra, your forehead connects to the earth. Taking a nice deep breath in. Exhale. Fill your shoulders, fill your heart chakra. Melt forward, connecting to the earth. 
with the eyes gaze down a closed third eye chakra is also connecting to the earth, connecting to the environment. And we're going to use this time to go inward. Just take a moment to focus on self. Taking a moment to notice what is going on within physically, mentally, thoughts, emotions, without judgment. Being aware of who we are, being aware of how we feel. Always being kind and loving to oneself. May we relax in silent meditation for six natural breaths. Optioning to breathe our palms together, flowing our palms above our heads and pray your hands, if that feels good. Three more breaths. Extending our arms in front of us with the palms flat on the earth, coming into that extended child's pose, puppy pose. As we use our palms to do a couple of spinal waves, using the palms to push the body forwards, filling that wave, and using the palms to push the buttocks towards the heels of the foot. As our spinal cord is moving and waving, and you'll feel your abdominal muscles in your head and your neck, may also be a part of that wave. Feeling the entire rotations and motions throughout your body. Going as fast or as slow as you choose. Three more breaths. Mm -hmm. Two more breaths. As we find our pause at center, we're going to come to that table, drop it down to cow. Mm. Exhale to cat. Flowing back to table as we push our bodies up to down dog, gazing at the feet. Mm. Exhale, breathing that right foot to that right hand, runner's lunge. Dropping that left knee, coming into that low lunge. Lifting the torso away from the thigh. Breathing the arms above the head. Crescent lunge. Chin is up. Heart chakras open. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale, center frame in that front foot. Taking that knee off the earth. Coming into a pyramid. Straightening that front leg. Torso and head melts downward over that thigh. Feeling that deep stretch. Three breaths. Two breaths. Dropping that left knee downward towards the earth. We're going to come into a half split. Straightening that front leg. Torso relaxes over that thigh. Some people also like to call this half pyramid. So half split or half pyramid. Feeling that stretch, three breaths. Mm. Two breaths. Exhale back up, straightening that leg, coming back into that pyramid. Mm. Going to run his lunge, bending that front knee. Exhale, down dog, gazing at the feet. As we walk our dog by pedaling our feet left and right, we're going to find that pause, breathing that left foot to left hand, run his lunge, opposite side. 
dropping that right knee down to the earth, flowing into that low lunge, pushing that torso away from the thigh, breathing the arms above the head, heart chakras open, chin is up, crescent lunge, opposite side. Still in this stretch for three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale forward, framing that front foot, taking that right knee off the earth, straightening that leg, coming into a pyramid. Torso and head melts over that thigh, feeling that stretch. Three more breaths. Two breaths. As we drop that right knee down to the earth, we're gonna come into a half split. Feeling that stretch. People also like to call this a half pyramid. Allowing the head to melt down, feeling this stretch behind your thigh in a hamstring, behind your legs in a hamstring. Three breaths. Mm. Two breaths. Exhale back forward, bending that knee, coming back up to that pyramid. Exhale, down dog. We're going to walk our dog, pedal on the feet, left and right. Finding that pause, breathing that right foot to right hand. Exhaling up to warrior two. Working in lower parts of our bodies. Warrior two, hands to the front, hands to the back. Gaze forward, heart chakras open, chin is up. Three breaths. Two breaths. As we flow to our reverse warrior, fill in that back bend. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale into side angle, crossing this right arm over that. Right thigh, side angle, or breathing that left arm up in the air, extended side angle. Arm can also flow over the head, feeling that side stretch. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back to warrior two. Twisting the body forward, warrior one, arms in the air. Chin is up, heart chakra is opened. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale, warrior two. Twisting the body forward, wide-legged forward fold, allowing that head to relax down. Connecting the hands to the ankles, four breaths. Optioning to rock or sway your body from side to side. Noticing that when you rock and sway, you may feel that behind your legs and your hamstrings, counter stretching the muscles we just worked. Two more breaths. Mm. Finding calls at center, coming up to half forward fold. As we walk the hands forward, bringing the feet together, down dog. Walking our dog by pedal on our feet, left and right. Hmm. Finding pause as we bring our left foot to left hand. Run as lunge. Exhaling up to warrior two, opposite side. <sighs> <sighs> Strengthening and toning our mind, and our bodies. We're going to hold just three breaths. Chin is up. Two more breaths. Exhale into reverse warrior, feeling that bend. Two more breaths. 
Exhale into side angle, crossing his left arm over that left thigh. Or extended side angle, breathing that right arm above the head or up in the air. Feel the next stretch, three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale enough to worry you too. Twisting the body forward, warrior one. Arms are up in the air, heart chakras open, chin is up. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale back to warrior two, feeling the movements here. Twisting the body forward, wide-legged forward fold, or half forward fold. Whatever feels good for you. Taking a nice deep breath in. Exhale. If we're in our half forward fold, we're going to flow down to a complete forward fold. Three breaths. Walking the hands forward, bringing the feet together, down dog. Dropping down to our knees, coming into a wide-legged child's pose or puppy pose, whatever feels good for you. Allowing the heart chakra to melt forward, gaze in the eyes down with that third eye chakra forehead connected to the yoga mat. Four breaths. Mm -hmm. Two more breaths. With our palms flat on the earth, we're going to spinal wave our bodies out of our child's pose or puppy pose. Feel in the spine, relax and decompress here in this spinal wave. We are loosening and moving anything in our spine that is caused or stuck. So spinal waving, spinal waving, the head, the neck, feeling that tummy get nice and tight here as we move, as we release. <clears throat> as we relax. Finding our pose at center, coming to our table. Dropping down to cow, chin is up. Exhale into cat. Crossing our feet at our ankles, coming into a seated position. Just for a second. We're going to flow onto our backs, coming into a reclined position. Hugging those knees into the chest. Recline knee to chest. Mm. Allowing the shoulder blades to melt back into the yoga mat. Gaze in the eyes down, closing the eyes. Taking a nice deep breath in. Exhale. As our knees flow or fall towards the left, recline spinal twist, feeling that spine decompress. As our right arm comes out to the side like a T, we can gaze up at the heavens or gaze over that right shoulder if that feels good for you. Closing the eyes. Feeling that body connect with the earth. Feeling the mind just go inward. And may we relax here, silent meditation, four breaths. <sighs> Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center, hugging the knees into the chest. As our knees flow towards the right, recline spinal twist, opposite side, feeling that spine soothe, 
You may even hear it cracking or feel it cracking here. Left arm goes out to the side like a T. As we gaze up at the heavens or gaze over that left shoulder. I'm going to take a couple breaths here to focus on self and go inward. Two more breaths. Exhaling the body back to center, hugging the knees into the chest, extending the legs up in the air, legs on the wall pose, pointing those toes upwards towards the heavens, feeling that stretch, reaching downward towards the backs of our legs. We're going to breathe our legs towards our torso, buttocks come slightly off the earth, legs to body stretch, three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale, legs back up in the air. Breathing our knees in, coming into that happy baby. Knees come downward towards the chest. Feet is in the air. Palms come between the thighs. Out to the side, connecting the palms to the feet. Happy baby. As the earth, the yoga mat, the floor is massaging our spine as we rock the body from side to side. We can also option to stay still or flow into a pretzel or a shoulder. A shoulder press. Whatever feels good, we're going to freestyle and relax in our happy baby for five natural breaths. Three more breaths. Finding pause at center, exhaling the legs up in the air, legs on the wall. As we allow our legs to fall towards the side, recline, wide-legged, split. Feeling that stretch here in our inner thighs. Connecting our hands to our feet if we choose. Or simply just relaxing our hands and our thighs. Two more breaths. Exhale back up to legs on the wall. Breathing the knees into the chest, extending the legs side by side, coming into our Shavasana, our rest pose. Legs are parallel. The sides of our feet are connecting. As our feet falls to the side like a V, completely relaxing our legs. Placing our hands at any parts any place that feels comfortable for you. As our shoulder blades melts back into the yoga mat, as our eyes flutter shut, if that feels good, or slightly gaze them down. Taking a nice deep breath in. Exhaling through the mouth. As we relax here, solid meditation, six, Natural breaths. Two more breaths. Slightly rolling onto our side, coming into a fetal pose, keeping the eyes gaze down the close for four breaths. Mm. 
slowly wiggling our toes and our ankles. Moving our bodies at our hips and our buttocks. Keeping our eyes gaze down to close if we choose. Taking this top hand and pushing our bodies up to a seated pose. Or we can option to stay in our laying, sleeping, rest pose. I'm going to come into a cow face. May you find any position that feels good for you, including staying in the main pose. If that's what your body is calling for. If we are in a seated position, ensuring that our spinal cords are elongated, tummies are tight and tucked at our navel, shoulders are relaxed downward away from the ears, our chin is relaxed, our facial muscles are relaxed, our forehead is relaxed. As we gaze the eyes down, we're to close the eyes. Go in and Placing our palms at heart center. Taking a nice deep breath in. Exhale. Blowing the arms out to the side, breathing them above the head, coming into that salute. Chin is up, heart chakra is open. Interlacing the fingers, point of finger points up. Arm slightly flows to the back of the room. Heart chakra is open. Chin is up. Exhale back up to our salute. Breathing down the prayer. Palms come heart center. Relaxing the shoulders down away from the ears. Breathe in. Exhale. As we use this time to thank ourselves for allowing ourselves to practice self-care here today. For in the busy, busy world, it is a beautiful thing when we find time for self. And I would like to thank you so much for allowing me to practice self-care with you here today. For it truly, truly is a blessing. The light in me sees, appreciates, and respects the light in you all. Namaste. Mm -hmm. Namaste, peace and blessings. Thank you so much for joining me here today. Online Yoga School Virtual Studio. It was a pleasure.